Drafts is a great way to add items to your reminders list. Lately, I've been really hungry for gumbo, so I want to add that to my list. So I'm going to type in buy gumbo in drafts, and then I'm going to add it to my reminders. And I'll do that by tapping on the drafts button and then just tapping on the built-in reminder button. And that automatically puts it in reminders. So if I go to my reminders app and go down to my reminders list, you'll see buy gumbo is there, and that's directly from drafts. But you can do more with this. Let's say that instead of adding items to your reminders list, you want to add them to your grocery list. I can take care of that as well. I'll go back into drafts, and I'm going to make a copy of that item. I'm going to go ahead now and edit that. I'm going to call this one grocery list. And I'll make it green. And I'll go ahead and edit the action as well. And you can see here there's a field for the list. And I have a list called grocery, so I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And I'm all done. I'll hit save, action, and done. And now you can see I've got a new action item available called grocery list. So I've got the buy gumbo already selected. I'll go ahead and tap grocery list. Now when I go back out and go into my reminders list, and go down to my grocery list. There it is. You can see it says buy gumbo. I've got several of these built for several of my shopping lists and that makes it super easy to add a task to any one of them using drafts. You can build these for all of your shopping lists and make it super easy to add new items just using drafts. There's another cool trick you can do with drafts. I'm gonna go back into the application and you can see I've got a list here of apples, oranges, and bananas. And I wanna put those into reminders as individual items. Since they're on separate lines, drafts can do that. I just need to swipe over to bring in the drafts action list. And you see there's this one action called list in reminders. Now I've currently got this to default to my grocery list. You'll see here, there it is on the grocery list. So now when I go ahead and tap this list and reminders button, it just sent those three items off to the grocery list and it's going to create them as separate entries. Let me show you. I'm going to back out of drafts and go back into reminders. And then I will tap on my grocery list and you can see on the bottom apples, oranges and bananas are now there. You can do even more with this, however. I'm going to go back to drafts. I'm going to create a new list. And this time, let's say it's for a store that I haven't been to before, and I want to add a new list for them. So I'm going to swipe back, and I'm going to insert before the first line, and it's going to be called hashtag Trader Joe's. Now, because I added a hashtag in front of Trader Joe's, Drafts is going to know that that's a list name I'm dealing with. And it's going to look in my Reminders app to see if I have a list name called Trader Joe's. If I do, it's going to put these three items on that list. If I don't, it's going to create a new list called Trader Joe's and put the three items on that list. So I'll once again go ahead and activate it, List and Reminders. And then I'll back out of the application and go back into my Reminders app. And scrolling down, you can see there's a brand new list called Trader Joe's. And if I tap on it, there's apples, oranges, and bananas. This is a great trick when you're creating your grocery list. Just list them all down in drafts and then save the list to reminders. However, there's even more you can do with reminders and drafts. Drafts can import reminders from a list named drafts in the iOS reminders app. So I'm going to go ahead and create one of those right now. Now I'm going to go back to the Drafts app and into the Settings. And you'll see there's a button here called Import Reminders, so I'll go ahead and turn that on and tap Done. Now Drafts will look for items in the Drafts Reminders list and automatically import those into the Drafts application. This allows me to add lists using Siri that automatically appear in Drafts. So I can go in Siri, add spicy carrots to my drafts list, and once that's done, you'll see that it's in my reminders list for drafts, but it's also going to appear in the drafts application. Once it's successfully imported that item, it'll mark it as complete in the reminders list so you don't have any duplication. 
Using this method, you can put text into drafts using Siri. Moreover, if you have iCloud Sync turned on, you're going to get the same list in the Reminders app on your Mac. That means you can type items in on your Mac and they appear in drafts. As you get better at using drafts, you'll find this very useful. The last bit I want to show you with Reminders is adding items to a third-party application like OmniFocus. So let's create a new draft and put it in OmniFocus. Research viability of growing kumquats. So let's say I want to add that to OmniFocus. I'm going to hit the action button. Then I'm going to click the share button. And there's an OmniFocus action here. I'll go ahead and tap on that. That imports the text to OmniFocus. And from there, I can add my project and context data and save the task. Now when I go into OmniFocus, I can tap on the inbox. And you'll see there it is. The more you use drafts, the more you realize it just becomes your ubiquitous capture app. You can put anything in there and turn it into reminders or tasks or calendar events or text messages or anything else you want to do with text.